bottles of beer on the wall, hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to begin by tuning on into French Hot Beer Review. Hello again. And welcome to French Horse Bay Reviews. This handsome guy is Scott. Oh. <laughs> Thought he was going to introduce me. I am Jeff. <laughs> Hops the Frog has a uh, brightly colored can of beer from the mighty Squirrel. Squirrel. Squirrel? It's not a squirrel. <laughs> it's a squirrel. Out of Waltham, Massachusetts. Oh, not far from here. About uh, 40 minutes to an hour. 9.7% Johnny Hammer Time. Triple frickin' IPA. New England type. Watch yourself. Type. type. A nipa? A nipa. Uh, Johnny ah. Hammer actually works at the brewery. He is in charge of packaging and the supply chain lead. Uh, passion fruit and mango and uh, smooth like alcohol. Yep. Good night, everyone. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Yep. So bear with us as we approach the end of this review. It will get more nonsensical. And then... When if he we, ever pours the beer. I want to spread the schmutz evenly. I don't think there is any schmutz. And then we switch over to our French Host Beer Reviews Untapped Recap, which we do right after we uh, give our scores. There's some baby teeth in here, maybe, but that's about it. <sighs> Join us, FHBR on Untapped. Send us a request to be a friend of ours. We'll read your scores in the untapped recap. Here we go. Everything else is down below. User-friendly beer reviews. Cheers. Look, look at it, smell it, taste it, give it a score. Wow, he is firm right now. I'm looking at it. There's baby chiclets. There's little tiny chiclets in there. Like when you punch a newborn in the mouth and their teeth fall out. A bright white head. Yep. It's creamy. It's milky. Creamy honey yellow. It um, does not look it's, like... It's like cloudy urine. does not look like I would expect a triple IPA to look like. What would that look like, sir? I would expect it to be more honey gold, a, a, a deeper... Really? Um, more like the can. More orangey. Reddish? Yeah. Um, oh, all my chiclets are starting to float now. They weren't there when I first started. Yeah, going up and down like a, sub, a submarine. Minor. Yeah, it looks a marine. I like chiclets in beer. They like you. Hey, good. Someone's got to. Let's smell it. I said, no, I sound like Elmo Floyd. <laughs> Let's smell it. <laughs> Smells good. <laughs> Urinal cakes all day. Mm -hmm. A little sweaty sock mixed in with that. Yeah. Dankness. Yes. It's hard to, like, really zero in on the fruit because it, it's intense. Like... Oh, yeah. When it when it pitches a tent and it sleeps in it, it's very tough to, to focus <laughs> on. Sorry. Dad jokes have been flying for me. You know what I mean? It's, like, just, like, a... Whew, like, overwhelming... Yeah. Goodness mm -hmm. coming in. Cheers. Yeah, let's drink this friggin' thing. It ain't gonna drink itself. No. God knows that. Does it? David Copperfield brewed this beer. Because the alcohol is just Where do they put the alcohol? Where is it? I, I've i tasted it in past cans I've had. But I'm sure it was the first one of the night. It's nice to have this right after having a, a you know a pretty solid double IPA that was 8.6. This is a whole... 1.1% above that, and you would never friggin' know. It's great. It's really good. And um, it's not just because of the alcohol. That's just a... It's a helpful perk. It's a crazy bonus feature, but careful, everyone. This is for professionals. Right. Not that we're professionally tasting it. We're professionally drinking it. Yeah. Like, we do this often. Like, a lot. Yeah. And we can handle maybe a little more than your average drinker. Probably well, a Yogi Bear. Probably a lot more. The bear, not the not the catcher. With that being said, I mean You're a fucking elephant such this. I'm it's unbelievable that's nine point seven. It's super smooth. It's a combination of a dank 
mm-hmm. old school IPA with some of the New England IPA features in it. Uh, it. I think it's really, really well done. It's a high score for me. Agreed. Um, I'm gonna jump out there and get let you do the first first shot this time because all right. <clears throat> I've been killing it the first time. Been killing it, like dropping it low, dropping it dead. Four point four. Wow. <laughs> this fucking guy, he just hands out freaking points. He's just like, yeah, hey, have some, have some, have some. Boom, 4.4. I mean, really, what's a better triple you've had? How many triples have I had? Yeah, not a whole lot. Because you're always afraid of them. <sighs> but what's wrong with it? Nothing. Not much. <laughs> That's ridiculous. If anything, the aroma. A little unpleasant. A little... Too urinal cake for you. Too maybe. Arti- oh, maybe yeah. a little artificial. Possibly, yeah. yeah. Just that's the worst part of this beer. Smell it. Oh, it's got like a mouthfeel is like it's medium to almost. I'll do a. It's got some chew chew to it. Fuck, stop talking. All right, I'll do a four three. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Four point three five. That's a freaking great score from us. We haven't touched that score in a while. Boss Tweed was the closest at four and a quarter a while ago. Four point three five for Johnny Hammer time. It's good stuff. Really, really good. Um, so that wraps up this one for us. Go grab this. Um. Get it for 2020. We're going to be get in 2020 it. when this is... Did you just say get it? Go get it. you got to stop you spending that, that much time in Connecticut. Get that beer. Jesus. Get that beer. Join us right after this break for the French Hose Bear Reviews Untapped Recap, where we will give your scores if you've had it and the global average. Thanks for watching. Have a great night if we don't see you again. If we fall. All right. We're back. Franchise Bear Reviews Untapped Recap. We give the global average, and none of our no, 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 no. none of our friends uh, decided to check this one in, or they haven't found it yet. But hopefully now get we'll it. get a bunch of them. Go get you it. You know, get um, it. as I said, like I said, no friends rated it. One thousand one hundred fifty-six other people reviewed it, and they gave it a four point one zero, which I think over that amount of people is pretty fair. Yeah, you know, right? We. Tend to like a heavy, yeah. We were at a four three five, but a heavy tasting IPA that hits hard. So maybe some of uh, some of uh, those folks don't like that right. aggressiveness of this beer, but we really do. Yeah, um, and we really like for you guys to be our friends on Untapped, so we can read your scores because it was sad that no one checked this in yet. Yeah, Scott was very disappointed. That's why I couldn't even talk at the beginning of this. I thought uh, we'd have three or four review, not the review, but the uh, recap. I thought we'd have three or four, but yeah. you know. But anyhow, that's all we got for tonight, and we will see you next time here on the French Hawes Bay Reviews Untapped Recap. Goodbye. See you next time. Hundreds of bottles of beer on the wall. Hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to begin by turning on into French Hawes.